the whole Jewish and white thing is weird because sometimes Jewish people claim that they're white if they want to get advantages. And then if they want to act as if they're a minority in the next sentence, they consider themselves separate from whiteness and a different entity. So they they have they they consider themselves sometime a race, sometime an ethnicity, and sometime a religion. And in that argument, depending on the context of the conversation, it'll morph as you're talking. So like this idea that they can infinitely categorize themselves differently so that they can't be uh can't be complained about is wild to me and I won't go along with it. I'm fine with somebody saying Jewish just like I would be fine with somebody saying black or white. You Dave Chappelle recently did the SNL opening monologue. In it he mentioned the Kanye controversy and made some comments about what he thought of Jewish representation in Hollywood. This prompted criticism from Jewish individuals um, and like organizations that the comments were anti-Semitic. Do you think that there should be a level of grace given to comedians when discussing minorities? Should people be careful, even in the context of comedy, to not use bigoted tropes? Or can humor be a way just to mask racist views? Okay, so uh, last time we had uh, All Black Everything, we had a discussion on Kanye. Um, and, uh, like, uh, you should have seen G.S. Hugo. He was in tears afterwards, right? Because I have been to just, like, a... <laughs> it was wrong. <laughs> just completely capitulate. And, like, I didn't... Look, I didn't want to do this topic now because I didn't want to, um, break G.S.U.'s feelings again. Uh, but it is what it is, right? Um, and someone's cruising for a bruising. Uh, so... <laughs> we're going to... <laughs> we'll start... We'll start with Bam. We'll start with Go Easy, right? We'll go with Bam. Uh, Gambit, I'm gonna give you the last one. I'm gonna go all around <laughs> counterclockwise. Uh, <laughs> the last one, uh, bam. Um, yeah, I've honestly, like, not completely. I my my views, especially compared to the last topic, still stand. But I've been slightly, slightly red pilled on this topic. I'm not even gonna lie to you. At least to the way that people and people have been handling it. Um, I like. I think that. What like people have been treat people are treating what Dave said as like um anti Semitic and worthy of canceling. And it, I think I think that like there what Kanye was completely um I think what he said was dumb. I think what Kyrie did was dumb. I think the you know, consequences regardless of any of that. But I think what Dave Chappelle said was mostly fine and even generally generally true. Um and the fact that the idea of any level of uh, mention of Jewish people and their culpability in specific industries, like, uh, is is considered immediately anti-Semitic, and like people are like coming for for like jobs and careers. I think that that it's kind of proven. It, it's it's proving the the bad opinions I feel like Gambit and them had last week correctly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I I think oh sorry, I'm no we're moving fast. Um the I like the comment about like oh god, when it's black people it's a gang, when you see Italians together it's the mob, when you see Jewish people together it's a coincidence and uh you should never say anything about it. I think that was one of Dave Chappelle's best lines in years, honestly. Cuz I haven't liked any of his oh, stuff. Yeah, you should watch some <laughs> No, I agree. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's go to uh, Taj. Yeah. Um. I, all right. So compared to the Kanye and the Kyrie thing, I think out of the three of them, I think Dave Chappelle was like the most acceptable out of all three. Um. I it used to be acceptable to say jokes like that. Like I remember during like the nineties and early two thousands, you can make jokes like that. Like, and I'm thinking, like, all right, if you switch the color palettes and everything, right? If a white comedian was like, hey, man, these rappers be killing each other. If they said it a certain way, they can say it in a way that doesn't come off as racist to me. Um, like, and I think the way Dave Chappelle said, okay, a lot, there's a lot of Jewish people in media. I think the way that he said it wasn't anti-Semitic. There's nothing disparaging that he said about, like, Jewish people in that commentary. There's no Holocaust denial. There's nothing that was, uh, I guess, south of, of harmless humor um so yeah I'm, I'm fine with what dave Chappelle said honestly i hope this doesn't get clipped and bite me in the future but yeah it didn't seem so bad the fact that you have to be afraid is telling no it's okay we know the script so it's fine. <laughs> what oh, oh my god uh <laughs> smooth please all right so uh i watched it as soon as soon as soon as it came out i watched it 
I knew I knew Dave was going to have something good to say. He's not, he's been spot on in his co- social commentary this entire time. If you listen to Dave Chappelle, he's like damn near predicted this shit. Been he's been on like I don't know what people find upsetting. And I think they just want to be upset at this point. Just want to be upset, they just want to weaponize whatever they can rid of Dave Chappelle because people don't like the truth. Okay. That's that's literally what it is. They don't like the truth. They want to be uncomfortable. But it's you're gonna have to be uncomfortable because Dave Chappelle ain't going nowhere. They he he stayed the test of time. He's been just a valuable asset to the community, uh whether in entertainment or just in educational value to people. Um I I him anti Semitic really like and and as Bam said, yes, that's probably one of the best lines. That's in his like top ten of lines he's ever said, because it would it, the way it, it was just the way it was delivered. Like it was just good, let's solid go. clip. All right, uh, let's go to Isle. I think that people need to chill on both sides. You know, just because there's lots of Jews in places doesn't mean that there's some cabal. Just because people are pointing out that there's lots of juice in some places doesn't mean that they're Nazis trying to do a purge like the crystal knocked, okay? We need to calm down. It's perfectly acceptable to point it out. It's not acceptable to wildly speculate on why. We we just have we just have to like, you know, just have some sense and some uh restraint in these in these matters. Like, you know, having the ADL and other Jewish groups come after um, Dave Chappelle for his statements, I think is maybe a, is not warranted. I think it's a little bit um, overreacting. I think that his uh, his his routine, his mon- opening monologue was pretty funny. It was pretty good. Um, and I don't see any reason why he needs to be canceled on it. Now you, we can see why Curry Irving and Kanye, uh, you know, they went too far because they were saying something hypo- hyperbolic, like all black people are Jews or something, like, or, or even more hyperbolic, black people are the real Jews. Now, that, that's very controversial and a very offensive thing to say. Me, neither so, one of them said that so far, but yeah, go ahead. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that that's, like, that's, like, that's the extreme version of, of what they were saying. They 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 just said that they they couldn't be anti-Semitic because they just happen to be Jews, um. But the more more extreme is that all black people are are the real Jews, and so that's the more extreme version that some people say, um. But you know, I think I think we just have to we just have to you know chill out on both sides, you know, maybe take a break, come back in a week and see how we really feel. All right, that that that's what I gotta say so far. And Al busting out his history 201 words, Chris Bonac, right? Like, wow. All right. Um, we see you. We see you out there. <laughs> Let's uh, go to uh, uh, our friend Pyro. Um, I hope you saw the monologue, guys, and you just were just at it. So, <laughs> all right. Good luck. Bro, of course I saw that monologue, bro. I can't be a black man in America and not hear about Dave Chappelle's monologue. See, this is where I could kind of understand you know, some of the anger and some of the comments that he made because there seems to be a more, there there seems to be this magnifying glass on certain groups in Hollywood and when they fuck up and like black men are one of them. Like Kyrie Irving did some horrible shit with that fucking movie. Kanye West said some horrible fucking shit. And they get it rightfully railed on. They get it rightfully railed on. But then there's like the whole what if shit. And it's like, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that. But when it comes to Dave Chappelle, I think he, I think the state, the, the timing of the statements and then like how he tried to word it with him being a comedian, I think it that just really shot him in the foot because when we talk about intersections and like who holds power and whatnot and when we separate these groups and whatnot <laughs> like we could talk about white people all day long and whatnot but like the, the part of it is true there there are certain parts like when you get past all of like the conspiracy nazi fucking bullshit 
that are just facts and that are just true. And it like uh, I, I like the people said before me, it doesn't mean that there's some like evil cabal conspiracy where Lex Luthor, or, you know, someone's at the top trying to pull the world strings for some d dumb shit. Like it's just business, it's just capitalism. I like I, I don't know what to tell y'all. So like I think there's a way where the conversation can be thread. I don't think Chappelle is as bad as Irving or Kanye when it comes to the uh, the anti-Semitic talk that's going on right now. I just think the timing is bad for these the, the comment you made. Ah, uh, that's cool. What a kind. So, for the most part, it seems like Dave Chappelle didn't say anything that was anti-Semitic. He pointed out a reality in the world that he lives in. So, when you Consider the idea that a lot of people of a specific type happen to be in certain places. You have to commit cognitive dissonance to not pay attention to that being a reality. But the reasons for that reality aren't as simplistic as some people want to make it out to be. It's not a conspiracy. It's a... I don't even know how to say it at this point. It, it would be a nepotistic or uh symbiotic relationship that's going on within mostly california hollywood and the banking industry so it just comes out as it comes out but it's not to say that anybody else couldn't do the same thing uh let's go uh joe joe Oh, Prime, why do you do this to me? I just want to say, first and foremost, um, depending on what people catch um, in terms of my takes, uh, gentlemen, it's been an honor. It's been an honor <laughs> being by your side and talking about these issues. I, I deeply I mean, not playing a fucking Titanic. I, I appreciate scene. the time yeah. we spent together. Oh, um, and I really uh, hope that I see you on the other side, okay? There's there's Gambit. He's coming over to consult. And there he is. Good good job, Gambit. Listen, Thank if we you. give him last words, I just want to say I blame Prime for this because he knew what he was doing. He knew I what know. he was doing. I mean, he bad he was doing. Why couldn't we do Bad Baby? Uh, no, <laughs> why couldn't we do Bad Baby? That's okay. There's Fnatic. All right. There we go. Play, this, play that bass, Fnatic. All right. Oh, my so. God. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking messed up, Joe. Uh, oh, man. People, people are going to have fun with my take. All right, so I have a lot of thoughts on this. I have like three main points, and then we can kind of hop onto it, like, and then whoever, whatever caught, we can parse it out. Like, a comedian's job is to make money, but it's not their job to reveal like a truth to the audience. It's not their job to give a sermon. It's not their job to like put out their manifesto. Like, their job is to satisfy patrons to make money, and everybody's in agreement with that. The problem that I have is when people try to justify when they breach that contract in the context that they're in. So if Dave Chappelle went in there and said all of his jokes and nobody was laughing, that's a breach of contract. And with a breach of contract, you got to evaluate like what was being said with that breach of contract. Um, and that's kind of where like the grace comes in. I think it should be provided um, for sure, but I think people got to understand the game. And like the game is that he's going to make people laugh and he's getting paid to do something. So the people in the context laugh and 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 people think that it's funny and then you can move on from that. But you also got to pay attention who is laughing in chorus with you. And Dave Chappelle understands this. He, he articulated this where like you need to have introspection of who's also laughing at your jokes. But that maybe we'll get into that. But I do have some things about some of our, our canceled individuals though. Um, the big thing for me is that like, listen, we can be honest about this. Like if you don't like someone because of their identity, that's a problem. Like, doesn't matter what it is. If you don't like someone because your identity makes them, like, because, like, their identity makes them liable to be teamed up against you, it's justified. Like, and the thing is that Kanye pointed out, Donald Trump pointed this out as well, is that they felt like they were being teamed on by groups of people. And there's no denying that Kanye, Kyrie, Donald Trump all got teamed up on. And that is a justifiable thing that we should analyze. However, like it does like we, we you don't have to believe them. 
and, but you don't but you can't be mad for them talking and like being vulnerable because people team up against you that's just part of black life and being black in america and black people need to be able to talk about their suspicions when they get teamed up on and again like i'll say it again you don't have to believe them but they have a right to say so um with that being said even if and this is the fun one because this is the celebrity critique even if these celebrities get caught on their anti-semitism we already know the game like so at the end of the day when the rubber hits the road all of these rich people like making money so they're going to do the exact same thing that every black person has done when they get caught with anti-semitism and this is the part where i think none of these niggas are genuine I'd be goldberg if i said her i don't know if i maybe said her twice but like That's misogynistic, nick, but nick, nick cannon nick cannon's not genuine but they all played the same game to stay in the game which is one apologize it doesn't matter how sincere the apology is talk to jewish leaders doesn't matter who you find give people money and every single individual that has gotten caught who's rich and black and their anti-semitism has played that game to the t like nick cannon showed everybody what the script is nick cannon is oh, racist oh, Joe, how nick, is cannon, anti -Semitism? nick cannon is an anti-semite nick cannon is a black israelite and there's no denying that but he played the exact same they played the game the way that's supposed to be played you apologize you talk to jewish people and you try to have open dialogues and stuff like that you don't articulate why you had these conversations and what you learned from these conversations. And then, and, and, and then you keep just enough space for people to forget about it. And, and then also if you give them money to boot, that's great. Like, I don't believe any of these people are genuine in their apologies. And that I think is the bigger, is like the bigger thing for me is that all of these people, Nick, Whoopi, Kyrie, Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson, they're not genuine in their apologies. And I think if you are a Jewish person in America, you should call cap every time. I just had to say. All right. Um, we'll go to Gambit. Uh, I just let you know, audience members. Um, before this, uh, Gambit uh, in my DM said that like he had an apology for me. Um, that uh, he wanted to just get that out out front. Uh, something that I was right all along. I, I don't know, but like I'll, I'll let him take it from here. Gambit, please. Oh yeah. So with you know my deepest condolences. I want to apologize for not even going much harder than I already went last. But, um, yeah, this is great, man. Um, uh, the anti-blackness league, previously known as the anti-defamation league, um, we see them, you know, carrying out their, you know, typical business these days. So I'm not at all saying like the anti-blackness league only targets black people. You know, it's possible that they target other races, but I'm just saying, like, speaking on what's happening now. Um, it's just very clear that this is just the anti-blackness league. So um, I think one of the things that y'all already pointed out was the statement that he made about, um, and to be clear, I tried to write it down. Where did I write it? Yeah, like if it's if it's black people, it's a gang. If it's Italian people, it's a mob. If it's Jewish people, it's a coincidence, and you should never talk about it. Like when we look at the NBA, like half of the NBA teams are controlled by somebody Jewish. A third of the NFL teams are controlled by somebody Jewish. Um, we can look at all of these different interactions between black entertainment or black anything almost the industries that are dominated usually by like black employees we can see that there's like you know a, a, a nice chunk of uh their owners that tend to be uh jewish and like we can say that that's just a coincidence but we can look at historically over time and we can see that there are certain elites that have robbed uh black people of uh, lots of agency over time so um i think what's happening is as some black people now who are talk, are starting to speak out more and not only be afraid, um, they're speaking out and we're seeing that the anti-blackness league is telling them, hey, you need to shut up or we're going to try to take everything away from you. And it's, I think it's twofold. Um, there's a guy by the name of Charleston White, who's a very controversial figure, be clear. Um, I'm not at all endorsing uh, Charleston White, but Charleston White did make a video about buck breaking and he talked about how this is exactly how blacks were treated during slavery, where you take the biggest and the baddest or the richest or most popular, or most loved or whatever, and then you publicly uh, 
whip them and the reason this is done to keep everybody else in line. And I think like Todd said in his opening, like this fear of being canceled. I've had multiple people call me over the last three weeks and they're like, hey man, you should probably stop speaking about this. Um, even though everything is true, um, you know, we wouldn't want something to happen to you. And I think living in fear like that um, is disgusting. So it's something I can't do. So um, I think we should be comfortable calling out truths. I think we should, you know, try to stay away from tropes that seem to be anti-Semitic, right? But I don't think there's a problem with having a true conversation about where we are, um, which groups of people have enacted like rampant amount of anti-Blackness against our community. And I think calling that out is fine. And I don't think it should be seen as hateful. There was somebody who said that, uh, damn, I tried to pull up this article. They said that the Dave Chappelle SNL monologue probably did more to normalize anti-Semitism than anything Kanye West said. So Kanye West did make some statements that I felt were like overly, uh, overly categorizing of Jewish people. And I think he should have kept it to the specific like Jewish elites that he was talking about. So these, this idea that anything Dave Chappelle did was uh, anti-Semitic is like absolutely wild and unfounded. Um, I think it's, it is smart what, what Dave Chappelle did and I want to go to the open, but he was like, he performed a different set for them. So they wouldn't know what his real set would be. So I don't know if people know this, but during the rehearsal, he did a completely different set. And then because of Saturday Night Live, Live, when they did it live, he actually did his real set. And that was amazing because um, the anti-Blackness League probably would have had him cancel uh, if he mm. did the real rehearsal. So um, that was genius. And yeah, Dave Chappelle has always been a genius. Every one of the last public showings he's had over the last three years have been spot on and absolutely perfect. So this is just a continuation of his historic uh, run. I just want to jump in. Yeah, I, I just want to say, I really do think that this Jewish versus Black African-American, like, beef thing is, like, synthetic. It's not real beef. I think it's, like, something that's, like, manufactured and not something that's, like, super organic. And it's just kind of, in a way, like, um, I don't want to say a trick of the light, but it's kind of, like, a, a trick of, of, like, the white supremacist cultures that we live in. But, like, one thing I want to say is that when, when Jews get mad at, like, someone else that's non-Jewish making comments about, about Jewish Americans... Like, they have a right to get mad at that. And their allies have a right to get mad at that, too. The same way where if, like, I said, if I saw, like, a WNBA team and I said nappy-headed hoes, like, I'm not going to get called out like that if uh, unless I was, like, white like Don Imus was. Or who was the one guy that said nappy? That was, nappy, that was Don, Don Imus, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, like, and, you know, him, Kramer from Seinfeld, those motherfuckers got canceled like a motherfucker. And I'm completely fine with that. But, like, it's a different set of rules when you're not inside of that group. And when you're inside Wait, of that group, those people say, said directly like uh -huh. uh, racist things. Nothing that uh, Kyrie Irving tweeted a, a tweeted a link to a movie which had some things in it. Apparently, I still haven't finished watching it because it's incredibly fucking boring. But um, it, it apparently had some yeah. things eventually. That um, movie was pretty wild. But he just tweeted a link. Uh, Dave Chappelle didn't say anything anti-Semitic. Kanye West had some 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 statements that he should have uh, made more targeted, but he didn't really have any anti-Semitic. We don't think these people harbor any anti-Semitic. He said Def Con views. be on Jewish. Well, man. Yeah, that's not anti Semitic. But if a white person is like, I'm going to have country, I'm black. I think people. if they said, hey, I'm no, going to be defensive, I, 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 okay, okay, be defensive do against this that's black that's assault crazy. on me, that's fine. Everybody, nobody will have a problem with it. But anyway, yeah, yeah, you, no, imagine, yeah. Yeah. No, but imagine if a white person said that. Hold on, hold on, touch. It seems weird that you took statements where people were directly saying derogatory things about black people that were like laced in just pure racism. And you're comparing that to tweeting a link to a movie, doing a, a, a Saturday Night monologue, which had no anti-Semitic views at all. And yeah, some statements by Kanye West, some of them were overly broad. They should have been more targeted. But you're comparing that to saying nappy-headed hoes and all this other shit. It's wild. The, the way the anti-Blackness League has pushed anti-Semitism as highlighting this group of people in any way is anti-Semitic is mind-blowing to me. And I don't like that people go along with it. Well, I, I think right. that I think that okay. there's a, a you're, there's, you're, there's, there's a, all this. Wait, wait, I gotta respond to that. That was yeah, to me. All right. So first things first. All right. So let, let's do let's do a palette swap on on uh, the Kyrie thing, right? If there is a white celebrity that tweeted out something that was like a link, like say like the the Turner Diaries or something like that, they didn't say anything. They just tweeted out a link on Amazon to the Turner Diaries. Can you can you give us context? What is Turner Diaries? I don't know what that is. The, the Turner Diaries is like a white supremacist handbook. So it's like. It, it, it like talks about different white supremacist things. It's pretty much just like a fantasy novel 
about like how great it would be if there was a race war and if white people won and took back the country from from the from the surly black people and the Mexicans and shit. Um, so because... wait, so who did you? So who we that got who published? Pal- who we palette swapping this? Week yeah, again? that's yeah, yeah. Palette swapping the Kyrie thing with the Turner Diaries for like a white celebrity. If a white celebrity were to do that, yeah, they'd lose they, their they job. They just tweeted out a link like that. They lose their job. They lose their shit. They they lose their job. They get canceled. All their deals would go in the toilet. What? Like I think that Kyrie is a little bit more. No, 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 no. Their, like their jobs. Like... No, 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 no. Their jobs when they get canceled, they know the game. Like the the game is the same. You apologize. You talk to you talk to leaders of that community, and then you might take like a two to six month vacation, and then you come back. Oh, and people forget yeah. about it. You know what I'm saying? I They're gonna get it. I think that like there would be consequences. Oh, wait, I want I want to I want to understand like, Todd's Jimmy, point. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to didn't mean to derail like, that. Yeah, Todd, I want to understand your point though. Um, so you're talking about this new film and you're comparing it to the Hebrew to Negroes wake up black America movie. So what things in those yeah, movies understanding... are you, com- what, what, what things are you saying this and this movie is equivalent to this and this movie? Because I haven't, like, like I said, it's okay. incredibly boring. I don't know how anybody watched three hours of this shit. It's the, bo- it's the most boring <laughs> shit of all time, but I, I haven't seen, um, like wild anti-Semitic things, so I'm wondering the Jewish what anti- the devil. <laughs> I, I haven't got to that point probably, but I, I, so what? What things are you comparing? To yeah, those? yeah, yeah. So to my understanding, that I haven't seen Heroes to Negroes, but to my understanding, it's a movie that says that white people are what you call like Edenites or Ebonites or something like that, and they're like cave humans and they're not like actually true humans. The black people are truly the people that are actual human beings and are actually like the descendants of the Jews. Um, that the Jewish people as we know them today are actually just like a cabal of like evil white people that are just trying to enslave and, and make black people gay and shit. Um, and like, it's just, just a bunch of like other crazy shit in there. So I'm just saying if a white celebrity tweet out something like that about like black people or like Asians or Hispanic people, um, then they would, those communities and their allies would rightfully cancel that figure. Like, I think Kyrie's a little bit odd because that's part of his actual religious beliefs and he is a religious minority. I have to pay attention to that but like say if someone that was mormon said wait i don't think what you just said is his religious beliefs i don't know if that's the movie either i'm just taking your word for it yeah being a black hebrew israelite you are it's not a black hebrew Israelite. you follow the he's not then why would he tweet that no, but no, because because here's the thing. Here's you can't make these leaks. You know what the media Hebrew is like. Hebrew is like. I mean, Kyrie no, don't know what he this is. This guy believes that he's actually a true descendant of Jews. Wait, 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 so what he has said is he's an ominous and he respects all religions. He's not he's not deeply in tune with any one religion. So the idea that he's a black is like is absolutely stupid. Well, Dude, it's not absolutely it's not, stupid. Uh, it's absolutely stupid. Why would he tweet something else? Dude, be like me Dude. posting the Bible. Okay, Quran, let's, okay. Be like, hey, I'm not Muslim. So anybody I'm not who Christian. posts the Bible is, is, is as a Christian. Like, everybody who posts I, I the Bible. So, hold on, hold on. You're that. so dumb that you think anybody who posts the Bible has to be a devout Christian. Who said they're, if they say they're a follower, said they're a follower of Christ. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all back and forth too long. Is somebody else getting in between this? No, 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 wait. It's like the No, no. This is the Just let me make one comment. Y'all can go right back to it. You're saying you're 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 being a you're being actually not a little. You're being really uncharitable to what Todd is saying. Like, yeah, but because you're saying this act is ridiculous. He made the whole statement to the contrary. He he's considered he considers himself to be Jew Jewish by his own statements. He could uh, like it doesn't mean he doesn't. He has not said that. Wait a minute, but I'm saying that I'm saying that just because (laughs) no, but I'm saying that like it would be like saying so. I'm not Christian. I'm a follower of Christ. Like okay, you might not be Christian, but I understand the relationship. Like I read the Bible and I'm a follower of Christ. Oh, that's not what he's. This is so dumb. First off, he's never said that. Uh, people who it's a Jewish, of Jews aren't Jews. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. The Black Hebrew Israelites will say shit like. The people that are claiming to be Jewish right now aren't Jewish. He's never made that claim. He said, I think I'm Jewish, but he's not said that other people don't have whatever heritage they say they have. I didn't, I didn't he's never said that. That just because he's not like just because he's not a, a, a active member of the Hebrew Israelites, you like you don't have to jump to the conclusion like what he's not he's even made, close. He's made him. statements directly to so the contrary. We don't I, I think nigga, 
This I'll nigga made it. statements to the contrary. Like you're saying that, oh, he tweeted this movie, so because of that, all this other shit has all to be true. Time. Even even though to every point that you said, which is asinine, he said statements to the contrary publicly. So you I want don't... me to believe that j just because he tweeted a movie, you can infer all of his religious beliefs, all of his beliefs about Jewish people, and all this other bullshit, except the shit that he actually says. So, when he's a person that stands on what he believes, mm -hmm. he thought the earth was flat. And he was like, yo, the earth is flat. The stupidest shit ever. But he stands on what he believes. So the idea that he's masking himself in public from his real beliefs is asinine. You can't do that with Kyrie. This whole I... bullshit. No, I, I, let's start smooth, smooth was in, and then we can go to Joe. Um, yeah, I'm not lying on another black man. So me, okay, cool, real quick. Um, so the thing is, okay, when when y'all say Kyrie said that, right? He said this, he believes this. Show me where he actually said it. it you can't it show exist. me that because it doesn't exist. He KB never actually, he, I know no, he I never is, actually said that? a word. We don't, we he didn't don't say use any of those things. This isn't, oh. how we, this, isn't, this isn't how we we uh, deal with other human beings. We don't go with the exact words that they say. No, 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 no. It's not even about exact ver verbiage. It's there was nothing said that was believed that he was a black Hebrew Israelite. If you tweet out a link to something, right? Like, oh, I think I, what do you guys think about this, right? Like, I kind of want to see what people think about this. I watched this thing oh, on Amazon. Sure. No, so really look, so look, so look, no, look, look, I'm, 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 I'm I'm gonna be charit. I'm look. This is this is this is me being this is me being charitable to Kyrie, right? Like, okay, I'm a celebrity. I don't want to cause an uproar, but I watched the movie and I want to know what other people think about it. I'm gonna just tweet the link to the movie. That, that's all he fucking did, and was like, I want to see what people give me as feedback because he likes having conversation with people. If you look at Kyrie's Twitter, he just goes. In, actually has conversation with people that's his thing that's what he does in his off time he just has reg conversation with regular people on twitter but he does he and i would assume he wanted to have a discussion about this we was smooth there was no he wanted to have a discussion or, and there was no affirmative or negative wrong. to the tweet it it's just, not about the tweet. It's context of the tweet because they because they literally had, no interview. context. No, literally had interviews the, the next day and they gave was him no so like, oh, you don't agree with anything bro, that was said, bro, right? And he was like, bro, I, I'm not saying bro. that. And he was like, oh, so you bro, just, oh, maybe you haven't seen this. Like, like, no, I've seen the movie. Damn. I've seen every minute damn, of it. And damn, I tweeted it out. We would not stand this like trick or treat level of charitability to other people. Say, if someone tweeted, if someone fucking tweeted a book about black people not being like, not being a, a fucking decision. But the thing is, y'all haven't even crazy watched about black people. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we proceed, I can further. read a synopsis of Todd, a movie and Todd, understand no, what the movie's Todd, about. Todd, I don't have to no, watch every no, second of a movie. No, 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 Todd. Have you You're watched the movie? Have you watched the movie? Yeah. Yeah. Why are we... of something and understand have, no, what it means. Have you watched the movie? Yes or no? I've seen like three hours of the movie. It, I don't have to. Wait, what? No, don't. That's the point. That's the point. If you ain't, I haven't read the Turner Diaries. But in the Turner Diaries, you some segments that the second hand, the third hand information to say some damn Wikipedia article to say that oh, it's an anti-Semitic movie. No, the movie is anti-Semitic. Smooth, it's smooth. Just anti <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's we need to, first, first of all, if it first quotes of all, Adolf of Hitler, all, if it denies it, no, the Holocaust, no, no, define it says that Jews aren't no, no, actually no, Jews. If it says that Jews control first. the media and suppress other groups, then like, what am I supposed to understand out of this movie? All of those it's things. Anti-Semitic. I can watch Birth no, of a Nation. No. I can say it's racist. I've never seen Birth of a Nation. I was just but about to say that, that. like racist. you can you like, can bring up like old shit like Birth I don't of the Nation in these shit. old ass documents where we can point like yeah that's racist but like the idea that we're gonna go down this super charitable rabbit hole about like but did you see the movie did you see the movie now I'm willing to grant you that Kyrie Irving's a motherfucker that likes to have some weird ass discussions and shit I'm gonna hold him to the same standard that I'd hold every celebrity it's like bro you kind of need to be careful with the topics you pick and how you put out them fucking links like you can't just put out a link to some shit and be like yo this is just gonna be my thing and we just gonna have a discussion because you are a celebrity like it's not like you a no viewer andy and you just talking about shit on your twitter you gonna have a backlash so for him to do this it's already dumber than he already is for believing the earth is i, I want to let in joe uh joe want to jump in i do want to yeah, like respond I'm to uh gsu at some point but go ahead yeah i'm gonna jump in too at some point too i'm just this is really interesting 
because it's like if we're so upset about Kyrie Irving, right? Like if, if the accepts, if the upsetness is there, then why aren't we holding the Brooklyn Nets to account? Like, can we just be honest? Do you really expect someone to come around on the claims that you believe they are in eight games? He's probably going to start on Sunday. That's what t- less than twenty days between. <laughs> like, yeah. like well, what are we? Because, what are we doing because here? they know he doesn't have any hateful views. They just want a, a black man to publicly no, have to apologize I, and kiss the ring. That's, mm-hmm. well, well, they want to bend the knee. Well, no, but here's what I think. Here's thing what I think is, is okay happening. in this circumstance. It's the only narrative, like, Joe. No, what, no, what no, narrative? no. The Kyrie, the Kyrie learned the game. He learned the game that, like, when you are in the level of status that you are, you can say and do whatever you want as long. Like, you can get your ass hung out, draw, like, and just, just the whole world, and you just got to play oh, the game. Listen. And he's playing the game. He's just playing the game. Like, he's nope. he, between, it's either he's two choices. Right, play the game of the NBA in this case, the Brooklyn Nets, or retire. And he's like, oh, I kind of like money, so I'm gonna play. So like, nope. he, and and even in his even in his conversation, like he didn't even show up to the ADL meeting. Like they had this whole Ouch. meeting about talking about this. He brought a fucking he brought a fucking proxy. So like, and then you're supposed, and then people are really expected to believe that he's gonna come back here reformed. Of, and, and some shit like make no mistake Wait, what do you like, think he needs to reform from no i'm saying like the point that i'm trying to make is that if we believe that Kyrie holds these views and these perspectives then why aren't we holding the the brooklyn nets to account that there's no re- no one can reasonably believe that he actually changed his opinion in less than a month I'm asking it's, you the it's opposite question. I want, I'm asking you the opposite question, though, because we all know that Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic. There's no proof. There's nothing that would lead one to believe that. So my question to you is the exact opposite. Why do you think the Brooklyn Nets are okay with him playing Sunday? It's because Adam Silver, who happens to be Jewish, and other people have made him publicly apologize for something he didn't do, which, like, skews the the view of black people and then they've made him publicly apologize to say hey you can't call out this group of people anyway and he wasn't actually even calling anything out but it's sending a message to other black americans and other people in the nba that this is how you have to move or we'll take everything from you there is no other narrative what other narrative would you represent no but that's jews no no but the thing is is that like every single celebrity before Kyrie showed how the game is played so like i'm i'm surprised like we, no, no, we but, saw we saw I'm what not, happened with Nick Cannon, and Nick Cannon you, is anti-Semitic. Nick Cannon is racist. I'm, I'm, he I'm never you, lost his job. He no, stayed no. on as the host on. I'll, 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 I'll be, let me finish this. Like, like let, let's make it very very clear what Nick Cannon said. He said that Jewish people were savages. He compared white people to animals. He said that Jews control finance and that Jews stole the identity of black people. And then you know what he did after he lost his deal with Viacom? He started complaining, saying that it's his right to have his show wild and out. And then you know what happened after that? He learned the game. He talked to like Rabbi Abraham Cooper, Naomi Marins, Michael Fledger. Um, he went to he went on he he toured a po- like he did a podcast where he went on a field trip to um God what was it it was the Religious Action Center and and then all of a sudden Viacom's like you know what you can have your deal back. He never lost his job at Fox during any of this. Just like the mass the mass singer took they didn't even take a fucking break. They just kept going like business as usual and then like when i look at something like deshaun jackson who is also clearly anti-semitic and still in the nfl like all he learned the game too you apologize you give people money and you shut the fuck up yes and and, like my whole thing is that like if these people hold these views and these are things that we ought not to have around then then like why are we why are we giving our money to these organizations who clearly don't care if people are reformed because fox doesn't care NBC doesn't care. The NFL doesn't care. The Philadelphia Eagles don't care. Like all, right. all these. Let, let, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. First off, yeah. The the shit that Nick Cannon said is wild. Anti-Semitic. It is bad. Things that are actually anti-Semitic, I will call them anti-Semitic and say they're bad. It's the things that aren't. But my question for you is, if you are 
in this class of people, this demographic that seems like they're being attacked with hateful speech, why do you think they would go along with this? Let's only talk about Kyrie. I don't want to talk about Nick Cannon because I think the shit he said was wildly anti-Semitic. But let's talk about the Kyrie or the Dave Chappelle or like the more sure. stuff that we're here to discuss. Okay. So if you were Adam Silver or mm-hmm. any of these other people um, and you thought he was actually harboring hateful views, why would you operate in the way that they do? So my my premise just to make sure I always give my premise. My premise is they understand that this person isn't anti-Semitic at all. They understand this person has no anti-Semitic views. So they just want them to publicly go through this last one to send a message to black people. What would you list as a reasonable alternative for why you say there's a culture of people saying hateful things and then they apologize for it. You're saying it's a half-hearted apology. They even tried to say Kyrie Irving's apology was half-hearted. But why would they be party to this system if they think it's increasing the anti-Semitism across our country? Because they don't want to play the risk of understanding the truth of these individuals. Because if you if you think that Kyrie is anti-Semitic and you want to interrogate his opinions and you are someone like Adam Silver, you might not like what you find. And if you go down that route and go down the route of finding out if they are truthful about what they're saying, then you're probably not going to like what you find. So it's much easier and much easier to to skirt over in order to just like apologize for what you said and shut the fuck up. Like, and that, and make no mistake, Kyrie will shut the fuck up. No different than the way Nick Cannon shut up. No different than the way Deshaun, Whoopi, Whoopi, shut the fuck up. They muzzled that bitch. Like, they muzzled her hard. And, and like, and, and this is the same thing. It's like, once you reveal something about yourself and it's a little against the norm, then like, the, like, people will gang up on you and muzzle your ass. And then the question is, it's like, okay, like, if you think the muzzle is unjustified, do you want to take it off and find out what they actually believe? And no owner, no stakeholder wants to take that risk. No, no Fox News doesn't want to like open up and find out what Nick Cannon actually believes. No different than Kyrie. They would rather it be ambiguous. They'd rather it be a situation where he just apologizes for this instance and shuts the fuck up. Like no different than any other person who who paved this road for them, you know. That's kind of because it hurts your brand. Like you, like you, you can't like you could say like, oh, they could just cast out Kyrie, but they can't just cast out Kyrie. One cast out Ky- Kyrie's probably probably a Hall of Fame player more than likely. Well, well, but that's and, but that's and, like, and, oh, sorry. Anyway. Oh then no, no, I was just uh, and just and just like that he like anything he does at the end of the day he is a representative of your organ the, the the larger organization and like the brand that came with basketball whether you like it or not so they there there's like there's other incentives besides like even if you know like oh this mother ever is racist like uh, this mother ever is anti-semitic like super anti-semitic you there's still reason to protect him yeah, yeah but but like it, the protection also doing business you know you the, the protection from uh, uh yeah. or seen as uh respect, respectable and credible or else you're going to look stupid you know I don't. The, yeah, I disagree with this, but cool. I, I, I don't want to make the whole panel about this. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I, like again, like my frustration is that like we overtly saw how like we overtly saw how this how these institutions operate when it comes to black men, especially and black women, also with, with Whoopi and also black women too with with Letitia Wright because she also said some fuck shit and she still has her job, but she apologized. So it's like the the game is still exactly the same. But my like my whole point is that. They don't like the there's not there's nothing to be had with interrogating like what they actually believe. This is why these po- these apologies suck. Like Nick Cannon sucked, Kyrie sucked. They all suck because they don't articulate what they did and why what they did was wrong. Because yeah. that shows that they learned, but they're not gonna okay. they're not gonna well, do I, that. They're gonna. I want to move on. Because, so because we're gonna get. We don't know. We don't know. Get, Mordecai, and we'll get Al in. I, I just want to quickly respond to uh, Gambit um, from his opening statement previous issue. You uh, said, um, I want to make sure I, I have your statement right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you talked about that that final line that um, Dave Chappelle did. And, and, to be, and for the record, I think Dave Chappelle's uh, comedy was great. Like In that case, like he did a really good job. Um, I don't think it was anti-Semitic at all. Um, I think a call saying that it was is a, little, a lot of bullshit. Um, but okay, but 
you said that last line where he says, you know, uh, a group of um, black people is a gang, uh, a group of Italian people is a mafia, and a group of Jewish people is just a coincidence. Don't talk about that. You mm-hmm. you say, say that, and then you went on to uh, bring up how the NBA or maybe the NFL um, is Both. is okay. Um, where half the teams are owned by Jewish individuals. One is half. One is like a third. In a, okay. NBA is half. The NFL is like a third. Sure, right? And so you're basically saying this is an example of this group. We're not going to give it a name, but like we're a group of Jewish people, right? That we don't actually um, attach a negative term to uh, because... Well, hold on. To, to, and, and maybe I didn't do a good job. What I was saying is that there are institutions where black people seem to be the predominant employees and there's typically contracts and, and lots of things that we can go into on why it's hurtful to the people in those situations. And it seems industry over industry that's happening on this integration of uh, what y'all think the word Jewish elites is charged for some reason, but white elites isn't, which is wild. But Jewish elites and, uh, and, and black people en masse, that integration always seems to be um, taken away as much as possible while enriching themselves. And, and and in a lot of ways, um, enriching black culture with a lot of hateful messages about black people too. So yeah, I think if you look at, so if you can look at the record industry, you can look at the NBA and the NFL, the, that integration typically, I would happen in these three scenarios, which are like the, what some of the biggest fields for black people, um, there seems to be wild amounts of anti-blackness and the way the contracts are written and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. I guess, when you when you compare um that that line from Jason Dichel and bring up that uh the stats about the NBA uh NFL team ownership, like mm-hmm. if they were indeed controlled uh by Italians, right? I wouldn't call it a mafia, right? If they were indeed uh, controlled by a uh, you know majority um Black Americans, I wouldn't call it a gang. That's not something I would do, and it's not something I would necessarily assume that uh, they are working in concert to uh, cause some sort of trouble, right? Um, but I, I certainly wouldn't, like, label them that way. Uh, there would be no need to. Um, History and... disagrees with you. Can sorry, I? What? Can I... Sorry, no, I no, 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 sorry. I got to get my, okay, get my point out because yeah, I've been waiting for yeah, so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, beyond that, right? Um, and and I'll, don't worry, I'll give it space to respond. Um, <clears throat> but uh, beyond that, I think... The issue with like Jewish American and Black relations, right, isn't about them being Jews, it's about them being white. Like within this country, right, like the the majority of Jews are white. There are Jewish with all kinds of um of ethnic backgrounds, right. Um, but it just happens be, to be the case. For... Be, be careful, Whippy got Whippy got uh, Castle oh, calling them white. Okay. Just be um, careful. It just happens to be the case that within this country, the majority of Jews happen to be white. And that's what we associate with being Jewish. Um, but I don't. I think we can all understand that if, for whatever reason, like the majority of Jews were black and in the exact same economic positions, like, like if they had problems with other Black Americans, like it wouldn't be around being Jewish, right? It'd be a, maybe around class or something like that. But like. You know, like, that's not the dividing line here. The, the important dividing line of uh, when we're talking about Jews and Black people is that white. And that and they're using white supremacy. So within the context of the NBA or the context of the recording industry, right, what I see there uh, is, like, white supremacy at work. I don't see Jewish supremacy necessarily at work. Like, that's the axis that's work that's working off within our, our societal context. I don't have to bring in their religion at all, right? They can be whatever. They 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 could have been Muslim, right? But the um, like what would have if they had been Muslim, that wouldn't change anything from their behavior, right? And how they treat Black Americans because they're white, right? So that's what I would focus so, in on. That's what I was trying to say last week. Is that that's the problem? If I if I see that sort of behavior, that's what I'm calling out: white supremacy. Not necessarily anything about being Jews. Now there is a Jewish supremacy that does exist, right? And we can see that in in Israel, right? Like that happens. That's a real thing, but not within at least not from my uh, position. Do I see that necessarily here? Done. Yeah. Wait, so, so Kanye, I, wait. Prime, I have one question, just just to clarify something. Um, 
and and here here's what here's what I but here's the kind of like just like what I believe. Like I don't believe Jewish people in America are like Jewish Jewish people aren't white in in so far as they are defined as survivors of the Holocaust. But I guess like the the question I have is is Kanye or Kyrie or like any of these in, individuals um correct in the specificity in their identification of the people obstructing them. And if they're if they are not, then what could they have said to have been more specific? Okay. Uh so you're talking about identifying. So if they were indeed being held back in their careers, right? Well the well you could use their names, right? If they've said which kind of did. Uh if these are the people, people still had a problem with it. If these are the people who are uh, causing, like, a problem, like, yeah, call them out, right? Like, there's no reason. Like, let's name and shame them. Um, and then uh, beyond that, like, yeah, that's like, true? there are these white individuals who are causing uh, an issue. I don't know. Whatever. Like, yeah, Perfect. name name them. But is that true? Hey, GSU, so, why can't you? Hold on. Uh, no, because I wait, because I'm going to push back there, because I think, I think people know like lots of powerful rich jewish billionaires like george soros but whenever someone says oh george soros is doing x people say oh my god that's a dis that's a dog whistle for anti-semitism even because though we know it usually know, fucking oh, is they, because they say we, george soros does everything, everything. You're doing it right now you just well, well, named the no Jew, no it, it usually is hold on no that's not one you bought it so you 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 had you right, had the opportunity, there. okay. So, so <laughs> I was sitting there, and he's got the opportunity to respond, right? I don't say anything. I let him go, right? I wanted just you gap to respond because it was a turn. But like, so I decides to cut in, right? And what does he cut in? He's like, well, isn't it weird that people call us out when we say George Soros is up to no good again, right? What? I That's literally that the perfect example the of like, compl- like, like the thing. racist bigoted nuts. No, George Soros in particular, right? Let's let's not pretend that George Soros is any Jewish individual. George Soros has been the focus of anti-Semitic um, hatred, right? And and he is yeah. There's this guy is probably the most industrious individual in the world because there's nothing he doesn't have his hands in apparently, right? But believing the fucking comment sections um, when his name comes up. No, actually, George Soros would be a problem. You could say George Soros. Hey, here's this activity that George Soros is doing. George Soros uh, does fund the Democratic Party, right? And here's the evidence of that. That's the thing that he does, right? But but uh, but let's not let's be quite honest that when George Soros is brought, especially in conservative media, right, that some anti-Semitic shit is just about to follow. Wait, yeah, I, uh, if I can if I can tap wait, in on this like, one as well. well game is yeah, getting further yeah, away. Yeah, 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 let's get JSU in here. Um, and yeah, I, I do want to hear uh, from the rest of y'all, uh, JSU. Yeah. So so uh, Prime, I think I made a great point, and I think everything that you said like illuminated his point more um there is no way to distinguish between well to, and I'm, I'm only saying this with people that have adopted your ideology because the anti-blackness league has like pushed that narrative but there is no way to talk about this person if you talk about a specific person you say it's anti-semitic because other people might be anti-semitic when they attack that person if they talk about the group you say it's anti-semitic because they talk about the group and they don't talk about the person which you've erased the ability to critique a group of people who people have problems with. And like, that's the problem. But like, so we, we do classification all the time, right? Like any, like if I had a problem with certain Twitch streamers that happen to be white, I might sometimes use, I might say certain white Twitch streamers. And sometimes I might say all of their names, but for every conversation, we are going to like list off like a thousand fucking people. Right. So he's had, three hour conversations where he's listed off like 11, 12 specific individuals that he's talking about. And in some conversations, he lists those people and say their names. In some conversations, he shortcuts it and says, hey, these Jewish elites or whatever. And like, we all understand what's happening and we understand that he's not talking about all Jewish people. So you remove the, and I think what Joe said is like, is pointed. You remove the ability to actually complain about a real problem. Absolutely the reason not. Why, hold, on, hold on, hold on, wait. But the reason why that I like, so I don't inherently think anything about, I, I don't think anything about them being Jewish is inherent to what they're doing. First off, we should say that. That's anti-Semitic for somebody to believe that. But now 
there's nothing wrong with saying that this demographic of people seem to have this behavior over time. We can go back hundreds of years and it still seems like there's lots of Jewish people that are wildly anti-Black and doing anti-Black things. So there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, this group over time, we can see analogs and culture where they've been anti-Black for pretty much American history, right? And there's nothing wrong with calling it out. We call out white people. We call out Jewish people. We call, and like the whole Jewish and white thing is weird because sometimes Jewish people claim that they're white if they want to get advantages. And then if they want to act as if they're a minority in the next sentence, they consider themselves separate from whiteness and a different entity. So they they have, they have consider themselves sometime a race, sometime a ethnicity, and sometime a religion. And in that argument, depending on the context of the conversation, it'll morph as you're talking. So like this idea that they can infinitely categorize themselves differently so that they can't be uh, can't be complained about is wild to me, and I won't go along with it. I'm fine with somebody saying Jewish, just like I would be fine with somebody saying black or white. You, well, you'll, you'll see that. You'll see wait, that. Wait, wait, uh, GSU though. That's it. Rob, can I clarify something with you? Uh, yeah, so you hard. The, wait. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm okay. curious what you think, but we got a lot of people. We got a lot of people who really want to jump in, and I want to hear from from all of you. I just, uh, I think what you said about the Jewish people and their identification, I think that's true, but other, another like whites, like subgroups, right? Like in the LGBT community, right? You'll see people identifying as like, you know, gay, right? Like as like their primary thing. Um, and like, Hey, I'm oppressed because I'm gay. Um, and like focus on that part. Uh, but they also happen to be white and they ignore that part until like there's an advent advantage to them. So that absolutely is the thing that happens. Right. I, I'm not going to disagree with that. Um, I think it's look, it is. It simply is the case that Jewish people are attacked uh, because of their um, sure. Uh, 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 like you don't even know which one to say. You were scared to say heritage. Like, that's no, what no, I'm no, saying. no, 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 no. I no, no. I was just stumbling. No, what I meant to say is like um, they're attacked because of an anti-Semitic trope that says that they run the the world or whatever, right? Um, and mm -hmm. so when we're talking about that, um, about their activities, we need to keep this in mind. There is a way. I didn't say that you can't uh, uh, criticize George Soros. In fact, I specifically said, hey, if you want to talk about George Soros' activity, talk about it, right? Talk about something that actually has, like, actual proof. But let's not pretend that George Soros, in particular, I didn't say any other Jew, right? In particular, George Soros, and you're, you know I'm correct, right? Has um, been this focal point, right? Just like the, like the, the Vanderbilts like, are running the world, right? Like he's one of the people who just happens to be a focal point of a mass amount of anti Semitic hate where, look, even this motherfucker dies, right? They're gonna, this is gonna be like uh, the, the, the white supremacist Tupac, right? He's dead, but like they, they say, at least he's living up somewhere, right? Controlling the world. That's exactly what's gonna happen when this guy dies. That's how Some much people focus will be they have. Idiotic. Uh, uh, no, no, yeah, so, and they absolutely will be. But I'm so, saying, like, specifically, George Soros is the worst example. But you can't talk about George Soros. You can't talk about his activities. He does things. He's an actor. He he makes decisions that affect the world. You can talk about that, but you have to be uh, extremely careful. Extremely careful about George Soros no, in particular. No, no, no. The, wait, wait, wait. So this is the it's, this is the like this is this is the cope. There is no way to be careful. Bring Dave up another Jewish person. Was, no, no. Dave Chappelle was extremely careful. This he was seen as more. This was seen as to to these people more anti-Semitic than what Kanye people. did. Who made to some Jewish no, people? No, 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 no. The, when I say these people, I'm talking about anybody of any race that took problem with the thing that he did. So that's why I said these people. Okay, it's more broad than Jewish people. So they're saying that this special or this Saturday Night Live skit was more anti-Semitic than the loose statements that Kanye made, which is wild. Like, it is absolutely wild. So you can't criticize them at all. Or, or the media is going to write, the, the anti-Blackness League is going to write the article that you're anti-Semitic and everybody's going to parrot and run around with it. All right, I'm going to let some other people in. Do I, I, you I understand why they said Gosh, that about the Chappelle skit? I don't agree. All right, so I'm assuming that the ADL said that because it normalized the ABL. More of, like, the JQ, like, a few steps closer to it. In the anti defamation league, we can say that. But so, right, when mystery. people say George Soros, when people say Cannon Hinnant, when people say uh, fucking Willie Horton, that those are all dog whistles for a different thing that they group people in. When they say Soros, they're grouping yes. Soros and with Jews. Yes. When they say Cannon Hinnant, they're they're grouping in like black criminality with the person that killed Cannon Hinnant. When they say Willie Horton during 1990s, they're, they're talking about black criminality, dog. It's not about these individuals, it's the groups that they get tagged and gathered with, or get gathered with them, rather. Um, what, if it's like, what if it's accurate to tag a group 
and say that this group of Jewish elites have expressed rampant amounts of anti. I don't see how. It's, yeah, I don't you see how. You have to say you're speaking in generalities. I don't see because these, these are all white people weird. as well. These are white people on these hip hop boards on and like fucking Warner Media and fucking uh, people call like, them out like Def Jam and shit. Nobody said it's white people that. Yeah, nobody's making white circle. Okay, but why circle, why highlight? Because they have a major the controlling the English, interest. Not the fucking Italian. No, no, no. Not the Polish. Why Why Wait. just the Jews? It's very odd to me but when you I don't do know that. if you can't hear me, but because they have major controlling interest in those industries. So, yes, you can talk about all the people that might be party to the system, but the group with the most controlling interest that is setting the game and the others are going along with the game, you talk about those are that have controlling influence in that arena. Like we do this all the time when we talk about when we talk about CEO culture. When we talk about CEO culture, we talk about God damn no, it, no, it doesn't. In these examples, it doesn't. Well, I, I, the thing the thing is, I'm, when you were talking I about like, slavery earlier, why just circle Jew with slavery? Like that's a I very circle Jew, Jew with Jews. slavery. No, what? no. Listen, listen. I know your brain is small, but I, listen. I just warned listen, you said that Jews played a part. I'm gonna tell like I'm gonna tell you what I said slowly, and maybe you can catch it this time. Right, I say that there are <laughs> rampant amounts of anti-blackness today, and I said that this group seems to have, even in the past, as you go back into history, also expressed that anti-blackness even during slavery. So I wasn't saying that they were the sole or the most or anything. I was just saying that this group has expressed this behavior over time, and that's why our people that become rich call this group out because they see them as a group that over time has aided in the suppression of black people. I, I hate when people make the argument okay, that so Taj is making. Hold on, yeah, yeah, just respond. Yeah, just respond. Yeah, just respond. Wait, 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 you're I'm, I'm, to me, though. What's because you're going to respond to Gambit again, and then Gambit's going to go again. That's what that's I mean, the reason I'm saying. Can I go, then you go, then Gambit You can go, but just don't talk to Gambit, because Gambit's going to have to respond if you talk to him. That's what I'm saying. All right, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say, just to the audience in general, to all the people watching it, I feel like it's odd when people point out the Jews for things in the past and people in the present, when we can say Jewish people have been allies to other minorities as well. They were Jewish uh, abolitionists. They were Jewish people during the civil rights era. You can Google something called the 1964 the Monson Motor the Lodge protest, yeah, nobody... where a fuck ton of rabbis got arrested for protesting segregation. There were white people, people doing it too. The ADL, the uh, Anti-Defamation League, uh, so, which fights uh, racism, uh, uh, do you think white people, and other forms you think, of like different uh, like bigotry oh and things like that. Uh, uh, but why uh, say, do you think hey, there were white people? You, you can't respond to this. We're you just can't. No, wait, 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 no, no, no. We got to. We, gotta, we gotta do have to let other people in. Gabby, you can respond later on. We're playing a role in like the oppression of black people, but I can say the exact opposite things about Jewish people. So why gather them in this vector when I can do it for the exact same vertical? I mean, for the exact opposite vertical. No, white abolitionists. Okay. So here's here's the here's the here's the actual issue I have with what what you're saying, Taj. Like, and I and the thing is, I I had this I had this conversation actually with black women. Um, we go who actually like on on that curses. After shall not be named. They on that exact one. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so basically, the the issue is like the the reality is yes, you can have you can have a very in depth conversation about all of these industries and about all of these problems without ever mentioning Jewish people. I would never deny that you can have that conversation. But you're have you're saying you're asking you're asking Gambit or you're asking us to prove a negative. I'm not. It's not saying that you. It's not saying that you can't have the, have a valid conversation without without bringing up Jewish people. You have to say that, like, the conversation is being had is why you sh should never be able to name Jewish people. Again, like that, like, you have to prove why why that's inherently bad to mention that, oh, yeah, these industries, also, there, there's a, there's an engagement with Jewish people that, that happen to be in these industries. Just doing that, like, again, this is, a, this is a conversation I had with real people who said that the idea of mentioning, uh, mentioning that Jewish people are in these industries makes you responsible, makes you responsible for the Holocaust. Because exactly. because they say that like that was that was um what like these type of conversations would start the Holocaust. So you exactly. you shouldn't you should never yeah, be I'm able. Not, I'm not to trying to mention... say that for Gambit. I do apologize if I did come off that way. What I'm saying is I just think it's odd that people will say odd. all these things about Jewish people. It's odd that people point out, hey, Jewish people played a part in the slave trade uh, and oppressing uh, black wait, people. Wait, wait, wait. Before you answer, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta let him, we gotta move on. Yeah, we gotta move on. So, like, let's I have one I'll take 60 more seconds. I just have one other point. Guys, 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 we gotta, we gotta.
we got to start moving yeah. on because we have a limited amount of time here. Um, mm -hmm. So we just got to uh, keep pushing. Taj, yeah. uh, uh, finish your point. And then, I, I haven't forgotten about you, Joe. Don't worry. Um, Tom, I haven't Tom, about the rest of you. No, can I ask a question? Please? We can't. I don't we can't. Want you to Sorry. Oh my yeah, God, We got it. We got to move on. Taj, finish your point. Okay, so I'm I'm saying that it's just kind of odd. It, it seems like it's not painting the most yeah, accurate I'll picture. To when we say that, no, let me finish the statement. When we say that Jewish people played a role in the slave trade and Jim Crow and oppressing Black people today, when we can also point to the exact opposite of Jewish people doing the exact opposite of those things, where Jewish people played a role in abolition, Jewish people played a role in the uh, '60s civil White rights people era, did when, too. People, when Jewish people play a role in, very true, very true. But like, why? It's just odd saying that this group did this. this yeah, you group can't did talk that. about white and people like, because okay, they, they sorry, 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 sorry. Come, sorry, not, we gotta knock it off. We move on. I can on. point to white supremacy. I can point. I can point to like different. Yeah, come on, that, like, Tash, Tash, wrap, Tash, wrap it up. I we gotta move on. Like gotta move on. Okay, great. Um, so we're moving on. All right. So uh, we got um oh. uh, uh, uh water kite who was supposed to go a long time ago. Then Joe. Um, then uh, Pyro, I guess. Did you have your hand up smooth? I, I wanted to go a while ago, but then I just started watching this foolishness unfold. Okay. <laughs> Hold me on one side. Well, it's been what it's been. It's that you can see a disproportionate number of names that equate with what you disagree with. But it's in spite of, not because of. It's not an issue of a conspiracy. So people that are being blamed for being part of this in spite of it needs to be evaluated there's not a conspiracy against black people or anybody else it's that they want to protect their own people they know that when these words get asked up and i feel it should be the same for black no i'm saying it should be the same for black people i'm saying for every people like when you talk about the people who should not be mentioned i think we should be a part of those people because when any of these groups are talked about, there is a harm that comes against them. And I believe we are the highest group of people that receive hate crimes. So when we're spoken about in a negative manner, we should be able to screech and holler just as much as they do when there's harm being done upon our people. You, you can't drop Kyrie Irving from his deal, though. When, it, when, the, when the white Republican in Florida says that the Democrats just want to get a black criminal's money, you can't stop him. Like, we don't have economic or political power to do that. So we don't. And that's because we're not the main demographic. It's not even about being the main demographic. I have a lot of, we, have a lot good, of thoughts. Um, <laughs> Because for some of you who are unaware of my politic, I've waged a war with white women. Um, I am at war with white women. Like every once in a while, we have we, we sit and have meetings to figure out what can be done about these white women. And I'm I'm like, and the reason why I say that is like we've we've seen what happens that within every electorate of people in America, whoever has the most power within that group controls the politics controls the rhetoric around that politic they control everything where it's like and if and and then like some people might say like joe this sounds no different than jewish people then like tell that to the united daughters of confederacy the concerned women for america moms for liberty or shannon watts who founded because they changed the name every town for gun safety which used to be known and people know that as moms demand action for gun sense in america and something that I noticed in these things, like, wow, it seems like white women, and particularly rich white women, control the politic about what it means to be a, not only a woman, but also what it means to be a mother. And this is, like, on both sides of the political aisle. And then when I say, like, yeah, white women are an obstructionist for, to black youth. And then, like, it's, like, really funny because I'm, like, I'm feeling the parallels of people saying, like, oh, I'm racist for, like, identifying, like, white women. I'm not saying this is parallel to this conversation, but, like, it is the problem, or I guess, like, the thing that I'm kind of stuck on is, again, like, if, if like, the, the Kanye's and, and the others are wrong with the people they identify as being obstruction and to their politic what should they say otherwise? Because like when I talk about white women and how they're obstructionist 
to politics. There's overwhelming evidence to support this claim. We can look at the Confederate statues that the organizations put up. They can look at the political candidates they overtly backed to be obstructions to things like gender, critical race theory, race relations, history, and public schools. We can look at the candidates they support. A majority school board, like a major, a, a now majority school board backed by Mom for Liberty candidates on their first day fired the superintendent, fired their cancel, and overtly banned critical race theory in schools. That's power. And then I look at the and then I look at the white women who are operating like, oh, they all are rich and they all have political power by proxy from their husbands. And then it's like, okay, there's something happening with this electorate of white women and we ought to take them seriously. But then it seems like when someone like Kanye talks about people who are obstructing him, and I'm not trying to say he's correct. I don't know if he's correct. And, I, and, and to be quite honest, I think it's totally okay for him to come out and say these people are obstructions to what I want to do. But if he's wrong, then how should he articulate that obstruction? That's kind of like where I'm at. Okay. All right, so let's go if... to uh, Pyro um, and then Smooth. Um, yeah, I don't know what Joe's weird war on women is about, and I don't want any part of that. Like, I like pussy, so that's where I'm at on I like pussy too. Sure. Okay, 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 cool. You said just... Joe Peace. You gave your declaration of war against women, okay? We all heard it here. You said um, white women, not women. You just erasing all other women? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, There's only white women in this country? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> only white women in politics oh, and schools. Like... <laughs> The blood is in that... heart. No, I'm joking. Go ahead. The blood is in... <laughs> But to be serious, to get back on topic, um, because I shut the fuck up. I did the whoopee method, and I shut the fuck up during all this, and I'll let y'all, like, hash it out and go on all y'all fucking tangents. And there's, like, because, like, it's some... it, it, it confirms, like, a burgeoning idea, and Jesus Christ, I hate to kind of agree with Gambit, even though I think his rhetoric's terrible, but, like... There is like an intersectionality with power and politics that we always play about, that we always like go into deep specifics about. And then like, and this is like, since we're on the topic of Jewish people, this is one instance where it's, you know, something that's as a society, we're really touchy on the issue of. And there are several other issues like that too. One of which Joe Lewis just mentioned, like white women in politics and their like, you know, role in history throughout. It's an intersection in the way that politics and history and all this bullshit works that I don't know if society wants to analyze or not. That's why when I personally want to crit like I don't really look at the Jewish aspect as something that needs to be mentioned because for me, that's not something that's a part of the reason like they're in power or they have the money. Money. for me it's the money for me it's the fact that like you know they were able to get this fuck uh you know they were able to accrue such fucking wealth and it doesn't really have it like no one handed it to them because they were jewish there's no like jewish goblin at the end of the world handing out gold to people and putting them in charge of the fucking world so like the idea to mention that when you're bringing up people like soros and shit and like amongst the billionaires who run the world like we can name the coke brothers and shit to me mentioning that type of shit is just kind of weird like they all fall kind of under the umbrella of like white supremacy for me so move move we gotta oh, get these man. other people in yeah i know i know all right so listen listen i i i really wanted to respond to something that todd said and i kind of forgot what he said okay i'm gonna be right, honest i kind of forgot what he said however however i do think it's quite crazy we can't we that we can't we can't demand that same um I, yeah i'll just go down this path that we can't demand that we don't demand that same level of uh respect that other that other groups in particular uh the ones who shall not be named cuz i'm not saying their their name anymore um you know what i'm saying that they that they can do that and then they can turn around and then demand of us of demands that are just outrageous okay like when, when they can they can list out six seven things that you need to do you need to go meet with their leaders you need to go donate to this and you need to go do all these other things and we can't we can't we can't demand that same thing you know what i'm saying at best at best we may be able to get someone fired 
But that, but that's only temporary because they just go to another district, go to another city, go to another state, and then they go work there. It's all temporary. Like we, we for the, we for the most part, we for the most part can't can't fully, fully go through it and go through with like getting people up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like that we disagree with. Now, granted, yes, yes, uh, yes, like they're rich, they're gonna come back. Saying that they're gonna come back because they're rich, they're gonna they're gonna play the game as Joe said. All they all pretty much do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I I I do believe though in this scenario, I think that Dave is more than happy just not do play the game at all. Like I think he's reached such a level that he doesn't have to, and I don't think he would. I think he'd just go back to doing what he was doing. He'll be in Ohio somewhere, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Or he'll move back to Africa again because he clearly does not care about the money. I like the thing that I think the NFL, the NFL, the NBA fucked up on is that like the list of demands is a real thing. Like, let's not be naive about that. Disgusting. The problem is the Nets fucked up is that they listed them on the internet. Like they disclosed that that's what happens. And and then like and then you get you get niggas like LeBron James going, well, that's excessive. And it's like, you know, nigga, that would be you if you if you got out of line. And he knows that like the they know what happens here. Like that that's the thing that I I, I wish people I think you guys understand this to a to an extent, but there's some people who bring like, with wanna, Joe. Like some people want to simp for celebrities where they act like this is not the game. It's always the game. But but the problem is is that like the, the Nets revealed that to the world. Like, yeah, but yeah, this is how the game's played. He's gotta do this, 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 and that, and then he's gonna come back. And then But they didn't like, have a choice. But, but Joe, what they you didn't, say the hand wait, wait. was over tipped. What they, was that? Were... Would Joe say the hand was over tipped? Yeah. I was I, I would say that Joe? um to uh, Joe, like... hold on. Joe? Yeah. Do you think it was excessive? That's what Water guy is asking. If I, do I think it was excessive? Um, I think it's exactly what every other individual is probably supposed to do and just don't want to say it out loud. No, but like, yeah, wait, but do you think it's just <laughs> though? Well, I'm not asking, is it like a recurring theme? I'm asking, do you think it's a just Well, well no, thing what I'm saying for... is more so did they overplay their yeah. uh, economic equity? Yeah, like, I guess, like, my my whole thing is, and maybe this is, like, an ambiguous position of just, like, I know that I just, I just know how the game is. So it's, like, when I see the, when I see these people go out of line, it's, like, yeah, nothing's going to happen of this. They're going to go on their apology tour. Maybe they'll resist. Yeah. They'll try to resist. But then when the rubber hits the road, they'll be, like, you know, this I, is what you got to do. And if you don't do this, we we'll make sure you like we'll do the same thing that we did to Kaepernick. Like we agree with Kaepernick too, and we saw what happened. Like there were some steps that he had to do, and he didn't do them. And when you don't do the steps, they're not gonna like kick you out, but they'll make sure it's very difficult for you to navigate. Yeah, I think um, it's important that you're able to be cerebral and recognize the pattern, but. I think that we can recognize a pattern and still admit whether we think something is just or not, right? So I agree with you that it's a pattern, but I can also say that in this specific situation with Kyrie, I don't think it at all should have applied, and I don't think it makes sense, right? So we can make sentences about the meme that's happening in culture, but we also have opinions on whether or not we think it's fair or just, right? I, yeah. I think it. I think it was just. I don't even think that was like because uh, if any white person did something that we would consider to be anti-black, name and one. They got, and no, I'm, I'm name just saying, one I'm white just person has been point. through this. I, I'm just gonna finish my point. Uh, just, Riley, if, if any uh, black person, go ahead, just, Bam. Uh, go ahead, yeah. Bam. Bam, finish your point. Yeah, I think if any black person, uh, I mean, if any white person did something, uh, did something like this, and the punishment was, oh, they're in an 81 game season, they missed five games, and they got to go to. It's not just the missing the games. Anti and they got to go to anti-racist therapy. I think we would say, "Oh, that's a slap on the wrist." They need to be out of the league now. But what? that, but that, I'm not. I don't want to respond to that. That's not, you can do that. No, but I actually, I'm actually no, I'm, I'm right. Fine. Like, but my actual yeah. point is that, I'm trying, uh, that I wanted to say. I wanted to actually respond to what Prime said earlier. He's, um, you said that you said that you personally, if you've seen a group of black people, you wouldn't consider them game. If you could see a group of Italian people, you wouldn't consider them uh, the, the mob. And I'm saying, I think that's historically inaccurate. When we look at like the um, 
whenever black people have coalesced together, like in groups like the Black Panthers and the Civil Rights Movement and Black Lives Matter, they t- seem to be what we consider them as gangs. That's that the word used openly and but, actively. And the same thing with the Italians. When like whenever we talk about JFK, we specifically talk about like, oh the mob got him uh, one of a presidency. Or when we talk about unions in America, we say oh okay. Like every time you see an Italian guy, like oh okay the mobs the mobs running the unions. Which if you do you want to say that's true. I, like his, like you know, I've done a little research. Historically, a lot of these things seem to have some validity to them. But I'm just saying that, like, we do see when we see the, the groups of people to get together, we do use those exact words. No, I, well, I specifically meant like in the context of the NBA and NFL, which is what he, uh, yes, you mentioned, right? Um, I'm saying that if that were the case, in alternate reality, if black people happen to own, uh, own that group, like I wouldn't call them a gang. Right? That wouldn't oh, it wouldn't make you sense wouldn't. to me. It's- but it's I, commentary. I mean, it's commentary. I mean, if you're saying that racist wrong. people will do racist things, yeah, I agree. No, 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 I mean, like, the BLM, the BLM mob, like, do we want to go there? You're misapplying, <laughs> what, you're misapplying what Dave Chappelle said. He wasn't saying that a bunch of black people in ownership would be called the gang. He was just saying we can collectively talk about black people. We can collectively talk about Irish people, but we can't collectively talk about Jewish people. And that bar, he wasn't relating it to the business world. He was just saying, "Hey, we can't talk about this group as a collective at all." No, you, but you brought that in. No, you I brought would, in go... the NBA and NFL, so I'm, I'm responding to that specifically. Like, no, no, if you co- juxtapose, yeah, but I would things. go as far as to when, say I, brought, that, that... when I brought that in, I, it was because the end of his bar was, um, "We can't talk about this. We have to just call it a coincidence." And when we look at the levels of ownership in all of these different, uh, primarily black consumer or black employee spaces we just have to say it's a coincidence we can't say the jewish people control this that's that was my point in that it wasn't that to was, call them a gang or a mob or anything yeah that wasn't really my interpretation of what dave Chappelle was saying i interpreted it as that like when you have different groups of people who are obstructionists in certain ways you can identify them and give them a name as like a secondary and but for Jewish yeah, people broadly, yeah, okay. Like, and for Jewish people broadly, there's no there's no word um, to to describe what's happening. Um, and I don't know like where that lies in the conversation, but it is something that's like like we should look into. I think again, you don't like, have to talk to, about you don't it. have to uh, use you can have all these conversations without naming Jewish people. Again, I sure, said that earlier, sure. but the but the point is, people are arguing no. that you can't have those conversations you and can't. name Jewish people. And I think that that's problematic. You I, can like, have well, either but, conversation, but, but but again, no, I, like, I, I agree. But I'm saying that some people believe that the the act of mentioning Jewish people in any of these conversations is well, I think well, people, ben, have been people have said that. I think people have been beat into submission mentally. I don't think people actually believe it because we categorize, like as humans, we categorize things all the time. So the idea that we I'm can't look at it's wrong. Oh, shit, I there's two bunch of people and they're all Jewish. We can't call them. Jewish. Nobody actually believes this. No one, uh, including including Prime, he doesn't believe this. But he's been beat into submission mentally because when we talk about this group, usually bad things happen to us. So as a group, as a defensive mechanism, we <laughs> just go along. With, hey, you can't talk about them. Yeah, no, no, everything is anti-Semitic. But he doesn't actually believe that. Prime will group a category. He will use Republican. He will use white Republican. He will use racist white Republican. He oh, will apply. Woman. He will apply adjectives wow. to a group based off their demographics and use that in talk I, all the time. But somehow, specifically, we can't say the word Jewish. It's why he doesn't actually believe this. Oh wait, my have, God! Have a, wait, wait. So I have a oh, question, wow. Prime. Before it's before so you good. respond to that, before you respond to that, I have two questions. I have a question for you and a question for Bam. Question for Prime. Is this what happened last week? Bro. Yeah, pretty much. That's <laughs> really yes, funny. Damn. A question, Absolutely. a question, a question for Bam, and then and I'll shut the fuck up. So, so Bam, like, just kind of like the parses out, like the Kanye thing, because I don't think anybody really answered this. Like, is Kanye accurate in his analysis that there are people obstructing his progress? So, I don't think anybody really approached that part of what he's saying. Like, he's saying he's getting teamed up on. Is that a valid claim? I think. I think in if. I don't I think in his industry that is true. There there are probably people he's ran into that have been like barriers to his success. But I don't think that like Gambit is being charitable and say that's the only thing Kanye's talking about. When Kanye's mentioned his trainer, Kanye's mentioned his doctor, he seemed not to be just talking about elites in his industry. He seemed to be talking about like there's a broader connection to Jewish people generally. And I think the person who texted him and said, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you as a zombie land? Correct. That is, that, is that person yeah, a Jewish elite? That was weird. Is he part yeah, of the? Yeah, is he yeah, part of? Is the, that the person G- part of the Jewish community that's attacking no, that's like him? His doctor. Yes. 
No, but, but, but you but that wasn't the no. conversation. You said they were specifically he was Jewish black, EO like, elites and execs. Oh my okay, god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Kanye has talked yeah. about a wide array of things. The idea that just because at this point he wasn't talking about somebody else elite means that he can't have the whole entire conversation. But he believes, he he believes his doctor wait, is so, trying to kill him because his doctor is Jewish. So not, just, not because so of just anything so, he said. So, wait, so just so I'm understanding, so just so I'm understanding, I'm going to like, pin everybody down to this. So do we all agree that his critique, his criticism that he's getting teamed up on is valid? Is that a valid claim? I think it's a valid claim. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, he Kanye actually is. He's that, like being Kanye is fucking on. insane, right? I mean, Kanye like, he's is not like in touch with reality, so like I, I can't like you take him seriously. But it might be the case. Okay. Okay. I don't know if he's being teamed up on. I know he one hundred percent believes he's being teamed up on. Whether or not sure. it's because they're Jewish, that like, nah, I don't know about. Now, that. It, now, like, uh, I don't want to bring this man up because he hasn't been talked. Like when Donald Trump says and articulated for years that he's being teamed up on. Is that a valid claim? I would say so, yeah. For uh, sure. It's a valid claim. Oh, what he's talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah just, you, can pro- just, I could, you could argue it's justifiably so, but if you yeah. said that, yeah. if you said that, like, yeah, they, they, there was a united front that, like, Trump is a problem, sure. Yeah. It depends so on what he's like, talking about. Sure. So if Kanye believes that he's being teamed up on, should he be able to articulate? I got. I feel like Wick here. Jesus Christ. Okay, gang. So, like, do we feel like um, he should articulate the group that he believes is getting teamed up on? Not you, 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 no, you should be able to like do that. Did. But he, I, Kanye didn't do it responsibly, and I don't believe Kyrie did, Kyrie did it responsibly. Okay. So I, that, that's why I haven't made this conversation in defense of any, either of them, even though I believe broadly the conversation should be able to happen. Sure, sure. So, like, I think um, if you're going to make those statements, like when Donald Trump makes the statement that there's like a Democrat cabal going after him, like we can look past his dumb fucking language and look at the fact that like the Democratic Party as a whole just did not like Trump. They didn't like his politics. They didn't like his judge appointments. They didn't like they just didn't like Trump. They wanted to get him out of the media. We can take a look at like some of the little liberal media that he was talking about, CNN, MSNBC, these type of news organizations. They didn't like Trump either. I can say for there looking at that that like yeah there's a concerted effort by the democratic you know side of politics that they don't like trump i can't say that when it comes to like the the, the mention <laughs> of these people when it comes to like these, these particular people kind. of a particular faith so, that were yeah, subjected because, to a on, particular wait, wait, type wait, wait, of wait, you gotta you gotta let me finish gambit yeah. before you go in because like i know you're about to go in i no, can't I'm not, I'm not. Hold on. i can't tell if these claims are legitimate just because these you know because like i said before he's bringing up the fact that they're jewish and like he might be right the doctors might be out to get him is it because they're jewish though when oh, yeah, like, he talking about to be, yeah, let me let me clarify something because I because I fucked up my question I, and I realized before I fucked up. I'm not trying to say that like he like he's valid. Like I'm not trying to say that like his claim like not that his claim is valid, but he's able to say that. Like for him to say like I'm getting teamed up on by this group of people, and then I think that's like step one, and it's like okay, sure. And what it sounds like for some that. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of evidence because that's kind of like even when I think about it with Donald Trump, where it's like the Democrat media is obstructing me over the bond. And it's like, OK, state like you made a claim. So like present your evidence. So like for someone like like Kanye, if he believes and this is like, again, this gets really fucking messy and I'm not trying to bet for this nigga. But it's like if you believe that the the undis- not people who will not be named who are subject to a particular type of percep- perception oppression with a particular man with a silly mustache that happened during a particular conflict with a bunch of other countries okay come on like, like <laughs> if you believe that to be so then like is there even a way to present your evidence in a responsible manner then like is that something that's even possible right so. uh, is that to me I'm like yeah. generally, but that's kind of like where my, my, I'm trying to be very careful. Okay, uh, repeat that last part. I'm sorry, I was so like, something. Yeah, like so, like if if, if the Kanye West is able to have be a sp- responsible way to have beef with Jewish people or to acknowledge, yeah, or pre- even present the evidence that you believe to be obstructed by Jewish people. I literally said so when George Soros was foolishly brought up. Yeah, you can. You like I said. Hey, you say uh, foolishly. I said. Well, Prime. I I said I, whatever. I said that. Um, George Soros uh, gives to Democratic campaigns, right? And then I said, show your evidence, right? Like, because he does. He actually does, right? And you can 
And you can show this. You, you can, there's a paper trail here, right? Okay, do that. Because one thing that concerns me, and this, <laughs> I know we have, no, we have time for this, is that there are a particular type of people who might rhyme with Barik Mampid and um, Boomar Bonson, <laughs> that when they present certain levels of evidence, they present that evidence in such a way where, like, it is the truth and factual that's where i think things get really weird so i do think and i hate to say this i feel like we gotta watch that documentary i, I don't know like i need it, to get through it man like, it sucks, <laughs> because i think, I think it is i think it is a, I, I do Please, think it is like no. Again, I think it's Joe. I can hook you up with Brittany from Politically Provoked. We can make it happen. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to be in that. I don't listen. Listen, bro. Like, that, that's one way to escalate your war, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm trying to be at peace with white women. Okay, I'm world I'm only, war. I'm white targeting. Women. Come on, Joe. I'm targeting the She's white Jewish. female elites. I'm trying to target the white female elites that are obstructing black kids in schools. She doesn't have the kind of money. She can okay. take care of her son on her own damn time. But fair, when she starts fair. going to school boards and starts complaining and shit, and then like, oh, that's school, a scary fight. Then I'm then I'm gonna have to fight her. For right now, she's yeah. harmless. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I, I digress. I digress. But I think it, but I think it's important where it's like to be able to understand the content that these people are presenting. But then, like, yeah. the question is like, how do we honestly? How do we talk about it in a way it's responsible? I think the way we talk about it is we stop being afraid and we just talk about it. And yeah, some of us are going to be canceled. The ABL is going to probably write a hit piece on the Prime Cause All Black Everything panel. Like these things are going to happen, but we can't stifle the conversation that's going to help Black people get ahead um, just because there are people that are going to paint us inaccurately in media. But yeah, I hate that this actually GSU came about quick. what you call it. No, oh, just let me say that because I, I just hate that it became about Kyrie instead of being about um instead of being about Dave because I think that there was actually like uh, like of course we had this like four minutes of content uh, regarding that but I think there was a lot of interest in up in the other like ten eleven minutes um, related to Trump or related to because um yeah. I, I mean I, I think I think this was like um Dave's first time I mean not not exactly a disavowal but he's like kind of like he, he was kind of crappy on Trump and I'm sure like the Republican base that had kind of like thought they had drawn him, drawn him in I'm sure they felt pushed back up taken aback about that I think he said negative stuff about Trump before mm -hmm. I don't think this was the he said negative stuff about Republicans he, he generally said he, oh he Trump jokes, don't give a F this mother F don't he give jokes a F like, that only poor white people like him all the time that's embedded in all of his message like yeah this is the guy for poor white people like he, he does that all the time though yeah, yeah. The day I after you, Trump I, won, like he was on with uh, who's the other black comedian? I was like, yeah, we know white people voted for Trump. That was 2016, the day after Trump won. Um, yeah, yeah. He's been yeah, anti Trump. Andy, uh, Andy. Uh, well, he didn't disavow um, Herschel Walker, but he Herschel Walker. Him, like, yeah. Yeah. And the left media didn't say, hey, you shouldn't talk about people with a CTE that are demented, right? They didn't come to Herschel Walker's rescue. Well, why would we joke on somebody with you know CTE that's deluded out of their minds, right? Yeah. The left wing media usually doesn't like that, but they didn't do that for us to walk them. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that people's like hesitation to like hear the Jewish conversation. Fuck, that sounds really Jewish questioning. The conversation mm -hmm. surrounded by like, like right. Jewish billionaires oh. and things like that. Like, like these things can turn really JQ -y really quick. And like people's hesitation towards that, like prevents certain conversations from happening. It's the same way as like. Um, say like you say like if you have like two different teams of people, right? And then one person says that the team with like two black people is like, hey, that team's ghetto. And like you're like, wait, you're calling that team ghetto because there's like a black person or two on that team. And like maybe they're just saying ghetto because everybody's dressed a certain way. But like at the same time, it's like, okay, like there's a reason why this hesitation and this like a uh, caution is there because of certain things in the past in the very recent past has transpired to inspire this amount of caution. Um, but I think, that we have in this discourse. So I agree I with you to. somewhat, but I think there's a hyper minority of people in this country that don't think the Holocaust was real, that do the whole Jewish people control the whole world thing. That's a hyper minority of people in this country. So the idea that we should take all public statements as potentially anti-Semitic is just what the ABL wants you to do. 
There is no rationale but behind we it. Can recognize that yeah, like, we can recognize that some of those people have political power. And every once in a while, they they crack a little bit and say some shit. Usually those people say directly hateful statements. My problem in this is that the three mm. people that we're talking about have not made any directly hateful statements. So in the absence of they a hateful def- statement... Okay, so he actually... I absolutely has, but like what, which statement was we uh, no, we will adjudicate that yeah. last week, right? <laughs> no, uh, or the week before last. Uh, so, yeah, I, he I absolutely did, and saying. yeah, and yeah. he and he and you couldn't reply to any of that stuff. So it is what it okay. is. Yeah, well, the next so, was okay. Okay. Yo, you but, yeah, let's let's <laughs> let's let's guys, uh, we, we're we're over time here. Um, let's go on to open walk on panel, everyone. Uh, we are going to continue on this content, right? If you. Felt like you wanted to say something that you didn't get a, uh, something off your chest, um, then now will be the time, right? So we're going to go into open walk on panel. All awesome. like you, yes, you sitting at home may participate. Stick around for that. But I'm going to give a, uh, an outro to uh, all these great individuals and we'll go from there, all right? Um, also, and hit that follow button if you're just following this channel and you liked what you heard or it infuriated you or whatever the fuck, right? Hit that follow button right now. Make sure notifications on so you know I'm live. Chat for our social media. We got Twitter, Discord, TikTok, and YouTube. We'll find the uh, um, VODs. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Um, let's go to uh, uh, let's do these outros. But remember, stick around. We have more content for you, and you can be a part of that. Uh, let's start with Bam. Bam, thank you uh, for uh, coming through, for being a part of this, uh, and put up a great fight. I'm always happy when you uh, say yes to my invites. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna just use my outro to make a, I guess, a little final little point. Um, there, like, I, I, I sat in a room of black women and and Jewish people, and and had this uh, very same conversation, and the same, the same, the same people who every day have conversations generally about the issues with black men or the issues of patriarchy and men and, and make wild generalizations all the time even dating back to another like this kind of related to another discourse that's happening on a different community right now about like <laughs> issues with black men but um like and, and had no problem making these generalizations when it came to this conversation like we're saying things like, "Oh, why can't? Why are we making generalizations? Generalizations are harmful. We should mention individuals." And I felt like, oh, "Okay, everybody lying. They, they, you fake. Like I don't believe nothing you say about this anymore." Which, again, this, like having this position doesn't mean I defend either of the previous two people, but I do believe that the the way this conversation has been framed and the way people are on edge is pretty um is. Ex- it is it, pretty like I don't know. It's it's kind of it's low key disgusting in the way it's being treated. Even though I'm I don't support anti semitism in any way, and if someone does say something or even allude to something that can be considered harmful, I feel like there's no problem calling calling it out. That's why I have no issue with anything any of the consequences that Kanye or Kyrie has suffered. But if anything happens to Dave Chappelle based off of what he said, I think that would be a crime. They've already um, done stuff, so, but yeah. so yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you so much. All right, now it's, we're going to do it clockwise. We'll give GSU uh, you know, final word again uh, <laughs> um, because I've, I've come after him and he's got to lick his foot. All right, so let's go to uh, <laughs> Taj. Taj, thank you. Uh, like, I'm glad you're back um, with your uh, busted ass visuals and like your delayed audio. I love it. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Um, but seriously, we're happy to have you. You're a great, you're a great guy. Um, and you always put up a really fun fight. Yeah, thanks, Brian. I really appreciate it. I long time no see, honestly. I missed everybody on this panel. Um, I miss Bam. Of course, I miss Bam. I miss GSU Gambit, Smooth, all y'all motherfuckers. You can check me out, Taj Benjan, Taji Politics on YouTube, Bars and Joysticks on Twitch. Um, and yeah, like, can I? This is the part where I say like my last sentiments, right, regarding this topic. Whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Of course. All right. Kicking things off, I think you can make jokes as a non-Jewish person about Jewish people. John Mulaney has done it for about eight years with not with no cancellations for some odd reason. Um, I think what Kanye said was inexcusable. The DefCon three on Jewish people is insane. You can, if you say DefCon three on any demographic, that shit's crazy to say, except for white women because you can attack them ad infinitum. Um, Kyrie was more of a religious liberty thing in my opinion, um, and we I, I'd love to talk about that in depth like later on 
Um, and Dave Chappelle really was just pretty innocuous, honestly, John Mulaney level. Um, but I appreciate everybody for their takes and everything, and I appreciate you guys for listening to my takes. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I had to, you know, we're gonna swag out with that, bring the walk to Poland out with that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, sometimes we have to oh, tell you that to me later on. I have no idea what's going on. All right, let's go. The walk to Poland. All right, we're just gonna move on. Uh, what, is that? what is that even? Somebody explain it. I don't Somebody know. It's uh, a little it's Yachty song. song. Oh, little okay. Yachty. The walk that makes sense. King of the kids. That makes sense. That why I wouldn't know what That's that is. Hot trash. Let's no, thank to, you. Let's go to Smooth. Uh, Smooth, thank you for uh, stopping by uh, and being part of all this. Of course. Anytime. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm smooth. You guys know me. I'm here almost all the time. Uh, you know, go check out the Home Room with Smooth podcast. Uh, but I do want to say, I did want to respond to Taj Politics, though. I, di- I did want to respond to you because you finally said it again. Def- look up what DEF CON means, okay? It's a defensive position. Okay? That The problem is, the problem, the problem is people assume People assume a lot of things are offensive or like you're actually trying to attack people. No, he wants to protect himself. The attacks he is receiving. That's what it means, DEFCON level. It's for it's for when the White House is attacked. Wow. It's it's different postures the White House can go prime. in. It is not an offensive position. The White House is not a base. The White House does not attack people. The White House defends the president. That is oh, what it's for. But what is the what Kanye no, mean? No, 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 he can't go. Like if I look at someone, like I'm gonna blow your top off. And if someone's like, "Hey, I need to show you to blow my top off," we can't close the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so with with that said, that's a defensive position that uh the Secret Service does. Okay, now, now with all that said. I don't think anything Dave Chappelle said was anti-Semitic at all. I think people just need to get their panties out of their ass or their E-strings or their freaking underwear or over whatever the fuck you wear, okay, to sleep, okay? Um, out your ass, okay, that's one. Then two, uh, I need uh, need them to... Kanye kind of messed up. He, 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 poked, he poked the bear. He poked the bear. I don't, def- I don't defend Kanye that much. He did kind of poke the bear. Um, now Kyrie, Kyrie is an unfortunate, I just feel like, honestly, he got the leftover hate from Kanye. If Kanye wouldn't have posted him, I feel like he would have been good. I feel like he would have been straight. As soon as Kanye posted him on Instagram and everybody's like, oh, Kyrie and Kanye West, they stand together because he over there posting pictures of them together. I think it really just hurt Kyrie and said a whole lot of things he didn't say. Um, oh, God damn it. Um, uh, so hopefully uh, my man Pyro will be able to dismantle how ridiculous that uh, out last statement was. Uh, but thank you so much. Uh, Smooth, go ahead, um, Pyro. Okay, see, because like now I have to come in here with an extra statement because Smooth let the one brain cell rattling around there have a word to speak, and I just can't allow that to happen, bro. Oh my God. The, the problem with calling death con on a group of people even if it is a defensive position is that like you telling me you view a certain group of people as an intrinsic threat where you need to you know do a defensive position yes. held by the government that's fucking weird bro i'm not gonna lie but he talked about clothes, elites the entire uh, time i thought this was the closing smooth i defended you shut the fuck up Text matters god go ahead god bless god bless shush anyways i think that like with all of this shit going on and like we're talking about how we go deeper and we analyze that shit i'm perfectly willing to admit yo america's a broke-ass country when it comes to the concept of race and ethnicity and shit like that however the one benefit it's given me as a person when i need to talk about this shit is i don't need to break it all down because it's just white supremacy, bro. I can usually tell who's going to be at the top of these groups. You're not going to find an Ethiopian Jewish person in America in control of one of these fucking countries. It's probably going to be a white person, bro. So usually when I talk about this, if I'm going to fucking bring any type of race into it, I'm going to bring in the thing that they wanted to codify when they fucking founded this country, when they left to make a fucking civil war, and time and again, and I'm going to call it what they call it. 
white supremacy. I think going into it, especially when we're like, you know, this far out from the Holocaust, we got to admit it's still a little bit weird, weird when people go about like the Jews are doing this. The Jews are because we're not that far off from that type of bullshit. Jesus Christ, we just had that shit pop off in America recently. The Jews will not replace us. Yeah, motherfuckers are going to be a little bit uptight about this, as they should be. Shit's going weird in this country. That's my ending. I'm the Pyro mm. Tyrant. Hit me up on Twitch. Hit me up on Twitter. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Uh, so I'll move forward. Um, but I'll, I'm going to have to say something here too. Look, um, that dumbass uh, Kanye, right? That dude that doesn't read, he doesn't know what uh, uh, DEF CON is, right? How dare and you? Can, he's not And you him. can no tell that he doesn't know because he spelled it wrong. Because again, Dumbass, right? No, prime, so yeah, prime, you can prime. say it's a dumbass. How dare and, you? And let's you know, not be, let's be, hold on, hold on. Let me finish my fucking point. Let me finish my fucking point. Can do um, and you can know, and you know that uh, he, that people within um, uh, popular culture talk about it with when it, uh, um, as something, as, as aggressive action, right? And yeah. that's what, as much as he knows about it, because he has no clue. He has no clue. So don't tell me, oh, well, if you look up the definition, well, then this is what it is. That doesn't he fucking said. matter. It was clear exactly how he was using it, especially, again, because he's a dumbass. All right, no, moving no, on. No, prime, prime. I, hear me out. Hear me out. You do know, though, that he wasn't the only one who knew that's not how it was spelled. I feel like a lot of Americans, they when they saw that tweet, yeah. they looked it up and went, what? Uh... What a surprise! Yeah, I know, I know, I know. The people didn't don't know. Yeah, exactly, right. Especially not sure Kanye. Somebody... He doesn't read because he's a fucking moron. And if you're gonna I'm tie sure yourself somebody... your credibility to him, that's a, a terrible idea. Let's go to yeah, I'm sure somebody I don't in the circle somebody. said it too. Anyway, listen, I'm gonna say that you know I believe that we should be very careful on spreading hatred of groups because we don't want uh, innocent people to catch strays of hatred and hate crimes for things that other people are doing all right we don't want to do that and that's why i think that you know if we're going to criticize the jews we have to name the jew uh or jews that are specifically doing wrong like prime said but then he backed off of because you know he he wanted to appease the pcnf community by by you know like he he, he had it there but he had to walk it back um, so you do it, don't worry. I'm I'm a strong defender. I will stand firm and say, no, we should name and shame people specifically if they do wrong for the wrongs that they do. We can't just blame people for other things that that, that weren't evolved with them. Like, you know, you can blame George Soros for the things he did, um, like funding uh politicians with like uh degenerate ideologies. Um, that that crap in England that he pulled in the nineties, where he bankrupted the uh, Bank of England, um, doing currency speculation, which is a big deal. That's that's a really fucked up thing to do for to a whole country. So I can understand why people are are peeved at George Soros and don't like him. That's that's a legitimate thing to say. <laughs> like he can do it, and that's not because he's Jewish. That's because he's an asshole. Um, or you know, or the thing, the 60 uh, minutes uh, interview they did with George Soros, where he said that he was uh, totally, um, you know, he was, he didn't feel guilty about help, helping round up his fellow Jews when he got uh, adopted by a Christian um, during, during the time when he was in his youth, during the Holocaust. Um, there, there are a lot of reasons to criticize George Soros. We don't need to make them up. They're just out there in the open. And, you know, we shouldn't be, you know, having other random innocent Jews catch strays for things that um, evil people like George Soros and his oak do. Um, as for the first topic, um, I, once again, racism and um, white supremacy have no place in the classroom because it's a place for everyone, regardless of their race, to learn and become uh, developing minds and and uh, developing adults into society. So white supremacy is really bad, and that teachers should have been fired. Although I think that it's a very prevalent idea that lots of people of many different races have that their race is superior. But I think that it's a deeply held one that they that they hold to themselves, and they're not as stupid as this teacher to say it and publicly at the workplace. Um and. Uh, you know, you can catch me on my YouTube channel, Isle of Isles. Uh, I do art, you know, I do recitations. I do uh, things of that nature. 
Um, I do some cursory and speculative glances at, at certain topics like I did for Columbus on Columbus Day. Uh, you can find me there. Please subscribe. Thank you. All right, uh, let's go on to Wadakai. Wadakai, thanks for jumping in, man. So, what has become, because of Kanye, I have a little sister who is saying, who is asking me actively who the Rothschilds are. This isn't a climate I expected to be in. Just being real. This isn't something that people can understand without the nuance of history. We need to understand what the impetus of each generation has been for Jewish people, every race, all the way through to where they have influence in different areas. It's not a cut and dry thing. It's not a simplistic thing of, oh, it's just these people. And that's going to create intolerance and that's going to create an ignorance as to what has happened. But ultimately, we should be able to have these discussions. And that's the biggest problem that I think is coming from this is that it's so fiery because of the ADL and because of the history that we can't have an honest discussion as to why things are as they are. And I'll end on that. Lethe Watakai on all platforms. Hi, right, Charlie. Right. MVP Joe Lewis. Thank you for coming through. We don't, uh, it's always a special treat to have you, friend. It's always good to have me. Listen, I, I'm. Uh, um, uh, if, you better follow my Twitch channel because it seems to be that people on Twitter are the workers of Twitter are, are having a little bit of a a little bit of resistance. Um, just make sure that if you if you analyze the demographic, it doesn't end up being a particular type of individual who are subject to a particular type of repression in a particular area in Europe, perpetuated by a man with a silly mustache. So let's hope that um, Kyrie doesn't find out who all these people are because we might get some weird uh, some who's of. Hey, I'm just fucking memeing. Um. I think that, like the last thing, and I'm and I'm done. And thank you again for having me, Prime. This was a, this was a lot of fun. I, I it's really interesting to me that we're only kind of here because Kanye West was like I don't know how to word this thought in a way that's Brave like enough. nicely nicely packaged. So I'll just kind of say it. His pro whiteness is a problem, and then it was blended with this like resentment towards Jewish people. So it doesn't present as like pro-white as much as it presents as pro-Nazi. So it's like this weird balancing act of like, yeah, Kanye West went pretty pro-white. And then like when people push back on his pro-whiteness, then all of a sudden it shifted <laughs> towards you and people. And it's like, damn. Um now we're here. And then everybody's taking some flack for it. Um but this was an interesting conversation. I hope we all make it. Um, I hope I hope our checks bounce like clear tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure mine clears. <laughs> make sure my swipe still works into my building tomorrow too. But I think I think I made it okay. You can you can pick on white women all you want, and and then um, you're not gonna get in trouble. But anyway, yeah, it's a lot of fun. You can follow me on Twitch, Joe Lewis with two O's. Um, and I might say on the open, it might be kind of fun. Okay, great. Um, and finally, uh, GSU Gambit. Um, GSU, thank you for coming through. Always been a good sport about this. So I appreciate you sharing your opinion. Yeah, um, no, I always love it. Um, Joe, I really do hope you come on the open. That would be dope. Um, um, but, yeah, um, so f like I started off the last time, um, I harbor no hate in my heart for Jewish people, white people, people of any race, ethnicity, or whichever combination you want to call yourself that day. But um, so I harbor no hate towards people. Um, it, What's interesting is, so Mark Cuban is one of my favorite human beings like on the planet. He's like after Elon Musk, so not like all the way at the top, but he's like close. Um, I found out he was Jewish while researching how many of the NBA owners are like a Jewish. So like, like I tell people, I don't know who the fuck is Jewish. Like I, I, I'm completely like race tone deaf or something like I, I i'm learning these things i was in primarily all black spaces my whole life because uh white people don't want to live around us so yeah i'm learning these things but um so yeah shout out to mark cuban it's still dope that, um regardless of that i'm just trying to show people that like i don't have hate towards jewish people i don't even know who the fuck is jewish so I can't, like I, I can't have hate in my heart against people that i i don't even know how to identify so 
But um, the ABL is disgusting. We should say this over and over again. Um, we should no longer call them the ADL in black spaces. They're now dubbed the ABL. Um, and I think that they're powerful and they've set the narrative that if you speak against anyone that's Jewish, um, they will call you anti-Semitic and attempt to take everything from you. And I think the response, which is reasonable, but is short term from most of the black people I've interacted with is to basically kowtow to what they're saying and like suppress themselves. And um, I think that's the way that we stay where we are. So um, I think if there are certain demographics of people that are expressing rampant amount of anti-blackness, regardless of their race, creed, religion, gender, we should call them out. And that's why I think uh, Dave Chappelle is dope and Kyrie, I mean, and uh, Kanye has been dope. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much. Uh, uh, again, to everyone, um, we are going to continue on to Open Walk on Pass. We do have more content. Um, and if you've been sitting here and you were getting worked up because of this topic, well, then now's your time. Uh, some of these individuals, JSU, I think, is coming on. Um, yes, and absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Great. Because I have more stuff to say to you. Um, and Joe Lewis and all that good stuff. Uh, we'd love to have you all. Um, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about the panel. Um, everyone here is welcome to join. But if not, that's okay. Spend, thanks for your time, your energy, your knowledge, and your passion for my community. I know they appreciate your support. I do. Have a good one. All right, bye. Bye. I'll see you in a